It's a pretty big week when you get a college diploma and you start a new job, but it's more significant for Quinn Evans than most graduates. There was a time nurses said she'd be lucky just to live through the night. Now she's helping other children try to overcome their odds too. Full circle, Quinn Evans okay. is back at Children's. I have those. Mm -hmm. She was 11 the first time she came. A decision that saved my life. She had a virus that attacked her heart. Her family did not know if she would ever see 12. My mom made it about halfway down the hallway before she heard code blue, code blue, room 4108. And room 4108 was my room. And I could no longer walk or talk or eat or drink. And we really just had no idea, was I going to survive? Doctors called her the sickest patient in the hospital, unconscious for 15 days. You have all these tubes in your mouth and um, I couldn't move and, and things like that. That was very scary. Um, Sorry. That was hard. You can let something like this tear you down and you can retreat into your little shell or you can face those fears head on. Quinn did. She fought for a future building on everything she's been through. And so instead of letting what happened to me keep me from chasing my dreams, all it did was just fuel that fire. I had two goals and it was to go to the University of Georgia and to work for Children's Health here of Atlanta. The sixth grader who had a feeding tube and had to learn to eat again is now a UGA grad and feeding technician. We're able to give them second chances. Helping other children just like her. I want to bring the children that real life example that there is hope. She will help a lot of children and Quinn says she also hopes that she'll be a reminder to nurses and the entire staff how important what they do every single day is. Hard work, but important work. Quinn's story really resonating with a lot of people already. Crystal Parks already commenting, saying, what an amazing journey. I'm so happy to see you achieving your dreams. You are living proof of why we should not give up.